Aggregation in MongoDB uses a pipeline. At the far left is your collection. So for example, tweets. The collection is fed into the first stage, and the first stage processes the documents in some way and passes the results on to the next stage. Each stage does this type of work, processes the documents it receives as input, and produces output documents that are passed to the next stage. Now in the example we looked at in the previous lesson, the stages included were a group stage and a sort stage. It's the group stage that actually does the aggregation. Let's take a look at a pipeline specific to that example. Okay, we'll zoom into this, but this is a representation of the aggregation pipeline that we saw in our previous example. Again, that example looks like this. So here is our aggregate query. Okay, so here in this column, we're representing the collection being fed into that first group stage. And then what the group stage then passes on to the sort stage. And then this is the output of the group stage. And then finally, the output of the sort stage. Let's take a look at each of these in just a little bit more detail. Okay, so here's our collection. And you can see that I've represented several documents within the collection. And in fact, multiple documents for some of the Twitter users. Okay, this collection will be fed into the group stage. So what does group do? Well, group is going to find the screen name field for the user subdocument in each one of our tweets. And it's going to aggregate together. It's going to accumulate all of those tweets and then count them. So here we can see that for this Twitter user, we get a count of eight tweets because that's how many were found in the entire collection of tweets. So the group stage produces documents that look like this from documents that have the shape of those in the collection itself and the tweets collection itself. So the sort stage then takes this type of document as input and produces this as output. Remember, sort is sorting into reverse order. So it's producing documents that look exactly the same as these, simply sorted so that the ones that have the highest count are at the top. So one thing that it's very important to bear in mind when you're thinking about the aggregation framework in MongoDB is that depending on which operator is used in a given stage, that stage may be reshaping the data sometimes quite significantly. The collection of tweets contains dozens of fields. What we've done here, what our group stage does, is it creates documents that look very different from these in order to do its job. So the whole idea with the aggregation pipeline is that you use aggregation operators to construct stages that will, in a series of steps, process your data in such a way that it produces the results you need. Sometimes a single stage is enough. Other times you need several stages. And the individual operators that are used in a given stage are entirely dependent on your application exactly what type of processing you want to do. You're not wedded to using group in the first stage or sort in the last stage.